So there are three movements that you have to master if you're going to move like a pro. And today I've got movement number two for you. This is Maria from GoalieTrainingPro.com. I'm an exercise physiologist who helps you do the right training off the ice so you can win more games with fewer injuries on the ice. Let me show you what you got to do. This one to help your glove hand. So if you can't get in this position where your bum is touching the wall, your shoulder blades are touching the wall, your head touches, your elbows come here, and you can rotate up and get the back of your wrist, so the flat part, not like that, touching the wall, then uh, it tells me a couple things. It tells me that you probably struggle a little bit, whether you know it or not, of keeping your glove open to the shooter. Um, it tells me that you're probably putting undue strain on your shoulder uh, and on your lower back because in order to do this you need some shoulder mobility but you also need good thoracic spine extension. And if you don't have good thoracic spine extension, which a lot of us don't because we sit in school or work or in the car or then we get on the ice and <laughs> we come forward a little bit, um, then, our, then our lumbar spine, our low back has to extend to make up for it. So, you know, instead of just being able to use my shoulder mobility to get, you know, my glove in a nice open position, I now have to kind of extend my back a little bit to help get that angle. No problem. This is one actually that we can improve pretty quickly. I'm going to show you a few strategies to help. So yeah. when we sit in that a little bit slouched position, um, we'll get a, a bit tight in the front of our shoulders, a bit tight in our pecs. So all we're going to do is take a lacrosse ball um, and we're going to have it between here, between the front of the shoulder and your chest. So just in that range right there, we're going to put some pressure on the wall and we're going to roll along it and just try to work on the tissue quality just like we do with our hips and our calves and our lats all our other muscles so we're gonna roll on that give that a chance to sort of open up lengthen out from the wall we're gonna go to our ground game so this is just a double tennis ball so let me just show you it's just two tennis balls taped together with hockey tape so they're not gonna fall apart I'm gonna position this somewhere along somewhere between my shoulder blades. So on my spine, somewhere between my shoulder blades. And then I'm gonna lie down on it. I'm gonna give myself a big hug, and that covers my microphone, but it also <laughs> takes my shoulder blades out of the way. And then I'm just gonna do a little small extension. So my low back shouldn't be lifting up and down as I do this. My low back should stay where it is. And I'm just gonna extend through my thoracic spine and then I'll move up or down and do some more little impulse extensions. I can also do some mobilization this way, rocking side to side. So usually I'll do kind of 10 extensions and 10 little side to side mobilizations. That doesn't feel super great. So what you can also do before you get into something like the double tennis ball is you could just roll up a towel, um, like a hand towel, so that it's about that big of a roll. Put it under there and start with a little more gentle mobilization. From there, we're going to go into our quadruped T-spine rotation. And I'm gonna show you the rock back version. So you're going to sit back, without letting this part of your back round. And that kind of locks in your lumbar spine so that all the movement's going to be through your thoracic spine, which is sort of the part between your shoulder blades. So this hand comes here. I'm going to rotate around and then up, keeping my chin up, making sure I continue breathing and not really forcing it, but just using that range that I have. And gradually it'll improve. You'll be surprised side to side there will be a difference, but again, with a little bit of practice, it'll improve quite remarkably in you know, the first three weeks. And then the last way we can work on this is just working that external rotation from a supine position. So practicing keeping your ribs down, letting gravity kind of help with your external rotation. And just holding this position for about five seconds, coming forward, falling back, holding for five seconds. We spend so much time thinking about your hips, your hip mobility, your butterfly flare, your splits, that sometimes we forget about, hey, what's going on with your shoulders? Your shoulders are involved really in almost every action, uh, every contact with the puck, blocking, um, managing your stick, making a pass. So this is a key movement for you. Plus, having that good shoulder external rotation, thoracic spine mobility helps take wear and tear off your low back and your back, low back takes a bit of a beating anyway so if we can 
take some of the load off, give it a little holiday, all the better. So this is Maria from GoalieTrainingPro.com. If you like this video and you want me to make some more, give me a thumbs up. If you want to get the videos before anybody else does, just hit subscribe and as soon as I upload them, you'll get them. And if you have uh, any questions, comments, topics you want me to cover, just leave a comment below. I read them all. I'll get back to you and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.